caves. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello, here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the caves be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure. Oh, should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um, I'm not too keen on small, dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred meters down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the caves! Ooh! It's so pretty and sparkly! Amazing! Look! There's a little boat! On aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel! <laughs> It can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry. We won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to uh... see you on the other side? Wow! Wait for me! Uh, 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 if that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant. Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. <sighs> Daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help me remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pepper loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Let's do a bicycle race. OK. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter, Peppa? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. 
Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Papa? Then we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Peppa. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Hmm. OK, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La, 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <laughs> It's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh! I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny. <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof. Oh. Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> George has come to play. George, you pretend to be something and we will guess what you are. <laughs> A dinosaur. <laughs> That's too easy, George. You can be anything in the whole wide world. George is thinking. <laughs> A dinosaur. Hello, everyone. Here is Pedro Pony. What are you playing? We were playing a pretend guessing game, but I think that game is over. What game do you want to play, Pedro? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! Let's find some puddles! <coughs> oh, there are no puddles. <coughs> you need rain for puddles. We can pretend it's raining. <laughs> It's raining, it's pouring, the splish is splosh, the rain comes down, diddly diddly diddly. The pretend rain has made pretend puddles. Hooray! Splish, splash, splosh! Peppa, your bike is mended. I don't need it now, Daddy. Oh? I'm pretending to jump up and down in muddy puddles. Ah, yes, those puddles do look rather good. I think I'll do some puddle jumping myself. Ready? Steady? Stop! What's the matter, Peppa? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <sighs> but I'm wearing my best pretend boots. <laughs> then you are allowed to jump. Ready? Steady? Jump! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. <laughs> It is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow. Thank you, Kylie. 
Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Aha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! No, oh, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Peppa. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. <laughs> Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Peppa has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup today. Ah -ho. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today, we have a new pupil. Hello, I'm Molly Moore. <laughs> I'm sure you will make her feel very welcome. Hello, Molly. Pepper and Rebecca, will you look after Molly, please? Yes, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> Have you ever played in a sand pit? It's good for building sand castles and digging. Do you mean like this? Wow! You're good at digging! Yes, I'm a mole. Moles are good at digging. <laughs> Parents have come to pick up the children. Home time, Rebecca! <laughs> Molly! Here is Mrs Mole. Hello, Mummy. Can my new friend Peppa come back to our house to play? Of course she can. Hello, Daddy. <coughs> can I go and play with my new friend Molly Mole? <laughs> Why not? <coughs> I'll pick you up later. 
Peppa is going to Molly Mole's house. <laughs> this is my house. But this is Rebecca's house. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside the hill. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, Rebecca. Molly is my new neighbour. But where do you live, Molly? We've moved in underneath Rebecca's house. Come and see. <laughs> Moles live deep underground. Our house is not finished yet. My daddy is still building it. Ah! Here is Mr Mole. He is very good at digging. How do you lock your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy. <laughs> this is my new friend, Peppa. Hello, Mr Mole. Delighted to meet you. Daddy Pig has come to pick up Peppa. Hello? Hello? Hello, Daddy Pig. How can I help you? Do you know where Molly Mole's family live? Yes, they have moved in underneath us. Underneath you? Yes, it's quite exciting. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. Come inside. Oh, oh. Please excuse the mess. We're building an extension. Oh, I'm a bit of an expert on extensions. Let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians, architects. Actually, Mr Mole and I are just building it ourselves. Oh. Hello, Mr Pig. Hello, Mr Mole. Uh, interesting place you've got here. Thanks. There's a little bit more digging to do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well... The good thing about digging a house is that you do what you want, where you want. You could put a door here... Or a door here. Or you could even put one here. Uh, hello, Mr Rabbit. Oh... Hello. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> oh, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in the floor? What a good idea. Would you like a cup of tea? Who are you talking to, Mr Mole? I was talking to Mr Rabbit. Hello, Mrs Mole. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How's the extension going? Almost there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> It's great having a hole between our houses because now you can come and play with me any time you want. <laughs> yes, and you can come and play with me any time you want. I like you living here, Molly. I like living here too. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my best friend? Squeak. Yes, please. <laughs> Molly Mole and Rebecca Rabbit are best friends. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today Dr Brown Bear is coming to show us an ambulance. I like ambulances. 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 <laughs> Will the ambulance go? Nina, Nina, Nina. Yes, thank Nina. you, Freddy. I'm sure it will. Here is Dr Brown Bear. Hello, children. Does anybody know what this is called? It's an ambulance. An ambulance? And who can tell me what it's for? Taking sick people to the hospital. That's right. Can we hear the Nina Nina sound, please? Yes. <laughs> we normally use that only in a real emergency. Dr. Brown Bear? Can you show us what you would do in a real emergency? Yes, I'll show you. Using this teddy and this ball. Ooh. One day, Teddy was playing football when, whoopsie, he tripped over the ball. Somebody calls for the ambulance. Freddy, would you mind making the ambulance noise, please? Nina, Nina, Nina! <laughs> First thing I do is see if the person is awake. Are you awake? Yes, Doctor. Do you know your name? My name is Mr. Teddy. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Teddy? 
I tripped over a football. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's put that football where no one else can trip over it. Now, tell me, Mr. Teddy, which bit hurts? My arm hurts. We just need to bandage that arm up. And because you have been such a brave boy, you get a sticker. And that's how the ambulance works. Wonderful. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're very welcome. And remember, always look where you're going. Then... Oh. Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness! Call an ambulance! The ambulance is here! Oh, yes! Everyone into the ambulance! <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. <laughs> Peppa is taking Goldie the fish to the vet for a checkup. <laughs> I like this road. It's all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> Goldie likes it too. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and. Stop! Here is Mr. Bull. What are you doing, Mr. Bull? We're digging up this old road to make a new one. Will it be wibbly wobbly like the old road? No, Pepper. It will be straight. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a bit of shouting to do. Come on, lads, get a move on! Mr. Bull is the boss. Bosses like to shout. Give up the good work! But how will we get Goldie to the vet? We'll just have to walk there. Pepper and Goldie have arrived at Dr. Hamster the Vets. Dr. Hamster helps sick pets get better. Hello, Dr. Hamster. I've brought Goldie the fish for her checkup. Ah, she's lovely. Is that the checkup? Yes, just make sure she drinks plenty of water. Oh, hello, Mr. Bull. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Sorry about the noise. We're building a new road. Will you take long? No, not long. We just have to knock this building down. <gasps> you can't knock this building down. No, this is where Polly Pets come to get better. Is it? Yes. Can't you make the road go around the building instead? Around the building? Around? But then the road wouldn't be straight. Busy people can't be wasting time driving around things. 
If you can't go around it, then can you go over it? No, that would be silly. What about going underneath it? Oh, a tunnel. That's very hard to do. Oh, someone's at the back door. Oh, hello. It is Mr Bull's brother. Hello. Sorry about the noise, but we're building a road and need to knock this building down. Dr Hamster's home for sick pets is in the way of the new road. Hello, everyone. Mr Rabbit is the road building inspector. Hmm, things are looking a bit slack, Mr Bull. Why have you stopped working? This building is in the way. I said they should build a tunnel. Yes, a tunnel would do. Mm, yes, but that would be very hard to do. Are your machines not strong enough to make a tunnel? What? Our machines are the strongest machines in the world. We can build a tunnel. I'll dig from this side. I'll dig from the other side. And we'll meet in the middle. Hooray! Mr Bull and his brother are digging a tunnel through the hill. The tunnel has been dug. And the new road is finished. Hooray! Congratulations, Mr Bull. You did a fine job. Yes. Now all those busy people can get to where they're going more quickly. The new road is so nice and straight that lots and lots of cars have come to use it. They're not going that quickly. Hmm. There are more cars using this road than we had planned for. We'll need a bigger road. So, what are you going to do? Only one thing we can do, Pepper. We'll <laughs> dig up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love it when Mr Bull and his brother dig up the road. <laughs> Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Aquarium. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie! Oh, Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Pepper. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh 
Gaddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> <laughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody! My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Oh, oh. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants. <laughs> fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Going boating. Peppa and her family have come to the lake to go boating. Here. What sort of boats do you have, Miss Rabbit? I've got canoes. Ooh, let's have a canoe. Hmm, you have to paddle a canoe. That's hard work. I've got sailing boats. It's a bit tricky to sail a sailing boat. And I've got pedalos. They look nice and relaxing. Yes, they've got a big paddle wheel to make them go. Let's have a pedalo. <laughs> <laughs> when I ring this bell... It's time to bring the boat back. Enjoy your boat trip. It's not moving. No. How do we start the engine? <laughs> You're the engine, Daddy Pig. You have to pedal. Oh, I see. Off we go, then. It's a bicycle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Riding in a pedalo on a sunny lake. Daddy is the engine, I hope he doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Emily Elephant and her family. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We'd like a canoe, please. Certainly. The Elephant family like canoeing. Paddles ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Elephant. Elephant. Then let's go. Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. It is Danny Dog and his dad, Captain Dog. We'd like a boat, please. Certainly. I have canoes, sailing boats or pedalos. I didn't sail the world and make my fortune to splash around in a pedalo. We'll take the sailing boat. Do you know how to work it? Do I know how to work it? I'm Captain Dog. Ruff. 
Come on, Danny. All aboard. Full sail. Aye, aye, Captain Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We're sailing. We're canoeing. We're peddling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an island. We could go there for our picnic. Hooray! Oh. <laughs> The island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boat. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please. <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Come in, birds. One, two and three. Your time is up. One, two and three. That's us. Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race. Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy. I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig. I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy. This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? No, oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. The sailing boat does have an engine. Full sail! <laughs> Emily and her family are in the lead. Pedal! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes. Sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. But you said you were going to stay home. Oh, yes. I'm not a sailor anymore. But I do love boating on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves boating on the lake. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Pirate treasure. Danny Dog is playing in his pirate den. <laughs> Here are Peppa and her friends. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Danny. Danny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Do you want to play pirates? Yes. yes. Get dressed up, then. Danny Dog has a dressing-up box full of pirate clothes. Ah! My hearties. I've got a treasure chest. Ooh. It's a biscuit tin. It's a treasure chest. But it's still got biscuits in. <laughs> uh, who wants a biscuit? Me! 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 Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout, Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! A jolly pirate's we That's how the deep blue sea To find a golden treasure for sale Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! 
Peppa has found a shell. Treasure! <laughs> Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! <laughs> I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro! Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep! Uh, yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest. Over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we Buried it. Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro, don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Hey! Who's there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh dear, how are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map! Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! <laughs> Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful. Especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jolly pirates, we that sail the deep blue sea to find a golden treasure for sail ahoy of me. Oh, jolly pirates, we for sail ahoy of me. Ah! Canal boat. <laughs> Today is Captain Dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Captain Dog! <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? That's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. <laughs> it's just a day trip, dear. This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat. On the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! <laughs> Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? 
canal boats do not have sails. You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck is going faster than our boat. <laughs> Want a race, do you, Mrs Duck? <laughs> Full steam ahead! <laughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Oh. Anyway, you want to slow down. We're coming to a mountain. Ah! Look out! There's a mountain in front. We're going to crash straight into it. No, we're going into the tunnel. There is a tunnel through the mountain. It's all gone dark. And our voices sound funny! <laughs> we sailed straight through the middle of a mountain. Ha <laughs> ha! This canal boat is actually quite fun. <laughs> Look! Here comes another mountain! And that means another tunnel. Not this time. Oh, there's no tunnel. So what do we do? We're going uphill. There's no way in the world a boat can go uphill. There is, and it's called a lock. Watch, I'll show you. Mummy Dog is opening the gates to the lock. Take her in, Captain. Just wait there while I close these lock gates. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm letting in the water from the top. We're going up. The rising water is lifting the canal boat up. Now I open these gates. Take her out, Captain. Full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Where's the ground gone? We're in the sky. We're sailing over a bridge. Yes, this bridge means we can sail high above the valley below. Ha <laughs> ha! Sailing across the sky. What could be a better adventure? <laughs> <laughs> Sailing across the sky In a boat so high Floating on the water Sailing across the sky <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a fun time, Daddy? I should say so! I've sailed through mountains, over hills and across the sky! <laughs> this is my best birthday ever! Captain Dog loves canal boats. Everyone loves canal boats. The market! It is a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples! Apples! Get your apples here! Cheese! A smelly cheese! Fish! Nice fresh fish! Each market stall sells one thing. Apples! Cheese! Fish! Mr Fox's stall sells everything. Violins! Casters! Rocket engines! <laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples! Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Hmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. <laughs> cheese! Cheese! Yum, yum. George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? Okay, I've got trout, addock, mackerel, or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie, yummy. There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr. Fox's store. 
bananas, flower yeah. tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples? Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they're plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And it only needs 24 batteries. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Can we have one, Daddy? No. Please. We could take it home and it could sing to us all day. I'm sorry, Pepper. But our house doesn't need a singing fish. OK. Thanks, Mr Fox, but we really do have everything we came for. There must be something else you need. How about an antique china vase that will never break? Because it's uh, made of plastic. It's really lovely, but we just don't need anything. Oh, it is raining. <laughs> No worries. I've got just the thing. Umbrellas! Oh, 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 we'll take them. Yes, four umbrellas, please. Mr Fox's store sells everything. You see, it's lucky you came to my stall. Yes, thank you, Mr Fox. And the best thing is, just for today, buy four umbrellas and you get a singing fish free. Oh, goody! <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle. Pepper loves markets. Everyone loves markets. When I grow up, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Pepper. You have plenty of time to think about it. OK. When I grow up, I want to be the Queen. So I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. <laughs> what else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh! There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Uh -huh. Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo-ho-ho. -ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. <laughs> yes, of course. 
<laughs> it is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Hello, my little piggies. <coughs> so tell me, what did you learn at playgroup today? Madam Gazelle asked us what we want to be when we grow up. That sounds nice. Not really, Mummy. Everybody knows what they want to be, but I don't. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. George wants to be a dinosaur when he grows up. You see? Don't worry, Peppa. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to be. OK. What do you do, Mummy? I work on my computer. Do you get to tell people what to do? No. Well, that's no good then. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. What do you do, Daddy? I could tell you, Peppa, but I think you'd find it a bit boring. I wouldn't, Daddy. <coughs> Please tell me. Please. OK. My job is to design and facilitate strategies of function by material means in concrete. Do you like your job, Daddy? I like it, but not everyone would. Everyone is different, Peppa. Hmm. What can I do, then? Think of something you like doing. I like jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Uh, there aren't that many jobs. I like... want to be famous for jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> I want to be famous for having a big tummy, Peppa. But that's never going to happen. But I'm very good at puddle jumping. Yes, I suppose you are. When I grow up, I will show everyone in the world how to jump in muddy puddles. That sounds like a very good idea. Night, night, Peppa. Night, night, George. Night, night. Peppa and George are falling asleep to dream about dinosaurs and puddle jumping. Move to music. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will use your imaginations to move to music. Ooh. What does this music make you think of? It makes me think of a piano. OK. It makes me think of music. Right. Use your imaginations. What pictures did the music make you think of? It makes me think of a cherry tree swaying in the wind on top of a beautiful mountain. Wonderful, Rebecca. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountaintops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Ah, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future! <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot! I am a robot! Zing, zong, zing! <laughs> this is the best music yet! 
No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and me. And me. OK, OK, what does this music make you think of? I know, I know. This music makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> Follow me, everyone. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. Peppa loves moving to music. Everyone loves moving to music.